I'm a Lego inventor, and today I'm gonna build famous YouTuber logos out of Lego. But each one is gonna have a unique special function to make it cooler. Starting now. Dream. <laughs> Basically, Dream's logo is a green background with a white smiley face, so that should be pretty simple. Now, for the mechanical function for this, I actually want Dream's eyes to blink. The way we're gonna do that is by taking two axles, sticking them through the back of the eyes, and having them basically push and pull, which means we can't really use this. Okay, there's our background. By the way, this video idea was recommended by SteelersFan16 in a YouTube comment, so huge thanks to them. Now we can lock it down with some lime green. All right, now that we got this shape right here, we need a round head. So for the head, we're gonna build a circle with two holes in it for the eyes. If you overlay this here, you can see we're getting the dream shape. And it's kind of at an angle too. All right. So then this goes here and then we just need to add a little curtain thing that's bent on one side. <laughs> Perfect, now I have one more idea to make this better. We're gonna use these things to make it actually look like the Dream logo. And the way we're gonna do that is like this. Now we'll just wrap these around. Look at that guys, we made Dream. Tell me this does not look like Dream. Now we just gotta make the eyes blink. So all we really need is to connect these with a piece in the back. And then we just need a simple mechanism that will just push and pull like that. Perfect. Now all we gotta do is attach this to the back of this here. Attach the motor. All right, now we're just gonna attach this to this battery box. And now, check this out. With the blinking, you can make it blink super fast. That's a little weird. <laughs> that is the Dream logo built out of Lego with the special function in the back. Dream, comment down below if you, uh, if you hate it. All right, let's move on to the next one. How unique. Mumbo Jumbo. Wow, a couple Minecraft YouTubers straight up front. Now since Mumbo Jumbo's a Minecraft YouTuber, I had an idea. We're gonna have like Minecraft pistons coming out of the side of the logo, kind of open up and look cool. And it'll look redstone-y. We have red and pink. Now, I'm gonna go with pink. Now we just gotta build a square out of these little bricks. All right, now for the eyes. They're basically two round things with like a cut off bottom. I don't know how to do that. Got a few of these. And then we just connect these. This is like the easiest way to build circles that are actually circles. All right, two eyes, perfect. And they're kind of angled inward like that. We just need a mustache. So that's basically like this, but then a swirl. So what if we just make two more of these and we put them like this and then we just go That's actually, yeah, that's a great idea. Okay, we just got the mustache completed. So now we just have to mount this. We take those pieces out temporarily and grab two of these. Stick those on there using the studs we put underneath. All right, mustache is in place. Now the eyes, pinch it all together and then we can just put these in here. And there we have the Mumbo Jumbo logo. Now, I like this on pink, but I'm just gonna build a red one real quick just to see if it looks better on that. Yeah, we're gonna go red. Okay, now to add the pistons in the back that are going to basically just move out pieces. We're gonna need four cobblestone, one redstone, one iron, and three wood. Wow, that took way too long. This is our piston. We gotta build two more, and then these will go on the side. And there will be a spinny thing in the back, and we need to make this a lot better. All right, guys, I think I just finished it. I got the pistons on there. I haven't actually tested it yet, so here we go. The motor's connected to this IR receiver, which is connected to a battery box. So here we go. If we turn that on, we can put our slime. I guess this is acacia wood. Cobblestone. Let's see what it looks like. <laughs> that is super cool. That's Mumbo Jumbo right there. Redstone. Le Lego Redstone. That is the Mumbo Jumbo logo if you look at it from here. You can see this is simply just rotating it and pushing out each one of those like that. And a really simple mechanism, unlike the one I was trying to design. <laughs> Even without the blocks on the pistons, this looks really cool. Let's move on to the next one. Dope or Nope? I love Dope or Nope. So for those of you who don't know, Dope or Nope is a channel that actually inspired me to become a YouTuber. They basically do comedy product reviews. This is what their logo looks like right here. We're gonna build it, and then I think it'd be really cool if it shot money. I don't really know why, I just couldn't come up with a better feature for it. But if it shoots money out the front, that'd be cool. Just gonna... Just add this right here. I totally stole it from the Mr. Beast Beastables launcher video. We're gonna mount this in the bottom of the Doper Up logo, which we need to build right now. So let's build the blue background. 
All right, now we have a square. I've built multiple squares in this video. Very crap. Now that we have our pieces, here's my thought. There's an arrow on the D, but I only have these pieces in this color and they're upside down. So let's build the whole thing upside down, make this the D, and then if we just get one more of those, we should be able to make the N. All right, so we just built these up. Now we just gotta install this on this real quick and make a little hole for the money shooter. Add one of these to the back, right there. We put this piece right here. That is mounted on there. Beautiful. Snap it on. All right, now we close this up, add a one by two like that, and this thing, just like that, perfect. Now we have the Dope or Nope logo. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the money shooter right underneath by just simply replacing these. All right, guys, we've done it. We've completed the Dope or Nope logo that actually shoots. So let's load in some money. Okay, here we go. Hey, that was cool. <laughs> hey guys, I'd say that works. The logo turned out pretty good. Like, honestly, if someone asked, hey, what's that? You'd just be like, well, they wouldn't ask because they'd know what it is. All right, on to the next logo. Hey, Mark Rober. Real quickly, for those of you who don't know, Mark Rober is pretty much the coolest science YouTuber on the platform. Which, hold on. And his logo is a light bulb with an M in the middle. So I had this cool idea. Let's build the light bulb and then make it protrude from the background. And the special function will be actually a light behind it that will light up. So I guess we'll start with the shape of the lamp. Okay, now we have the outer rim thing. And we could probably put more plates on this because it's a little thin. And then we'll build the little rings that go across the bottom, and then we'll build the M in the middle. The M is gonna come out of the wall so that you can actually see the light from within. I think all this part will be on the wall. We can put this here, and then we can put this across like that. And there's a super cool piece we can add to this that will round it. Boom, tell me that's not perfect. And then we just need Two more. It's like the Mark Rober logo to me, guys. Now we just gotta connect all this to the backdrop. And then this thing, we'll need to put right here so that there's room for light to shine through. Now we just gotta add connection points for this part and then cut out a spot in the middle. For the light, we're gonna use this thing. It's just a LED light. Now we just gotta connect the M right here. Yeah, it goes right in there. We've created the Mark Rober logo. In lighting this, we will make Mark very proud. Now, all we gotta do is drop this on the back and then plug this in. Check it out, we have a Mark Rover logo that actually lights up. And that took like two hours. As you can see, it glows. You can still see the Mark Rover logo, but it lights up and that'll be more apparent when we shut the lights off. Bam, look at that, <laughs> that's cool. All right, now that we finished the Mark Rover logo, on to the next one. Hey, Mr. Beast, let's go. Guys, I have the coolest idea for the Mr. Beast logo. So as we all know, the Mr. Beast logo is a tiger, lion. We're going to make a white backdrop, which I just happen to have already made. And the special function for this is we're going to have an opening and closing mouth. <laughs> this is gonna be hard. There's a lot of interesting shapes on this. This is gonna be very difficult. Okay, we don't have much to work with in these colors, but we're gonna try our very best to get a good Mr. Beast logo shape. So that's the top of the head. Then we'll need a ear that sticks out of the back of the head. Okay, and for the eyepiece, we're gonna use this simple piece and a Sharpie. Yeah, that's it. And behind the eye, there's like lightning. So we're gonna add a lightning bolt. There we have that. Now for the nose, we can use one of these pieces like this. We'll connect that simply with one of these pieces. We're getting there, guys. All right, so I got the aesthetic done. The only thing left we have to do with this is motorize it to make the mouth open and close. We need a mechanism that's very small. I'm just gonna put a bar in there, put this here. Now we have created an opening. Now we just need a simple rotational to linear actuator. If we grab a motor, put it on this, here we go. No way guys, it's actually working. That is so cool. We made the Mr. Beast logo out of Lego that actually opens and closes its jaw. And you can make this as fast as you want, but that is super duper cool. Oh my gosh. I added a servo motor into this so now you can talk. Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, check out this one right here. Also check out the sponsor of this video, Crazy Kai's Bricklink Store for your Lego brick needs. You can check them out using the link in the description or by clicking this button right here. See ya.